5e cards of all time. Well, it so going on, we have number 5, which will be Double V card. Double V card is a support Pokemon. It is a very good Pokemon. It's called this type. It's, its ability lets you take 30 less damage from attacks, and its attack prevents blast, but allows you to do 120 plus for 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. So early game, this attack isn't really that good. So keep in mind that you can use powerful colors energy, though. But late game, if your opponent has taken five prize cards, that'll be 150 damage more, which will make it 270 damage. And then with four powerful colors energies on there, you'll be able to do a total of 350 damage, which will knock out any Pokemon V card, which is quite literally insane. You can use the boss's orders, and you can bring it up so that you can knock out whatever you want. You can use a quick ball or Crobat to bring it out. Crobat really would be... Uh, worst case scenario because you really want to use quick ball quick ball can really guarantee you that you get it so moving on to number four we have zamazenta v so zamazenta v is actually the card that won the that has been one of the winning decks for the players cup tournament which we'll be doing a video on tomorrow well tomorrow est time that is and its ability dauntless shield allows to spread all damage from pokemon v max and its attack for three colorless energies for one colors energy and two mental energy, salt attack will do 130 damage and a discard special energy cast to your pawn. So this is really good because you can use his armor shield, which will allow you to take 50 less damage. So you'll be taking 50 less damage and ignoring all attacks from Pokemon V Max, which is insane. Then you can use you can use metal goggles, but you really want to prefer the rusted shield. You can search it out with stuff like Crobat, and even better, you can accelerate the energy on there with stuff like Zastian, which you can see in the screen. Or you can even use Metal Saucer, which will allow you to get it from the discard pile. Its real weakness is going to be cards like Reshiram and Charizard right now, or any fire type cards right now anyways, because you are weak to fire, which is a very big downside to it. So going on to number three now, we have Eldegosophy. So Eldegosophy is a support type, this is a support Pokemon, grass type 180 HP. Its attack, its attack for float up is 50 damage. You can shuffle a Pokemon all cards attached to your deck. And happy match for when you play is Pokemon from your hand onto your bench. You may put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. So you can use the boss's orders here, which you won't really need it, but you can use float up just to knock out some small things like a snom, for instance. If you're going up a if up a deck with a frost moth in it, you can use the crowbat again to search it out and the quick balls to search it out. This is going to be a supporting Pokemon. You're not really gonna want to use float up, but if you have to, you can. So going on to number two, we have the infamous Zassian V. So Zassian V is one of the very best cards in the format right now. If we would have it at number one, we'd have Picaram or something like that. But this is a V cards list, not a GX cards list, which will be coming later this week. We will be doing a GX list. Then we'll be doing EX. So we're sort of just going to keep this a series here. So that's just a little foreshadow for this week. So the attack will be Brave Blade for 230 damage during your next turn. Pokemon can attack. Pretty straightforward, and then its ability, Intrepid Sword. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and attach now the rare of fire of metal energy cards there and put it into your Pokemon, put the other cards into your hand, and then you end your turn. This is insanely good, especially going first, because you can accelerate energies. You can use stuff like Orin Guru, and you can put the energies on top of your deck, so you'll be guaranteed to attach to Zassian, effectively giving you multiple attachments per turn, and it could even be on par with some Welder decks. Again, like Zamazenta, its main weakness will be Fire-type Pokemon, like Reshiram and Charizard, because it is weak. You'll be able to search it out with stuff like Crobat, and you can use Rusted Sword, which will allow you to do 50 more damage. If you use Rusted Sword, you'll do 50 more damage, you'll be at 230, and then with ADP, you'll be all the way at 300, which will knock out some VMAX cards. Not all, like does, like double, but it will knock out some. You can accelerate energies with Metal Saucer and the Intrepid Sword, so you'll really be, you'll pretty much be able to get the second turn if you go first. So finally, we have our number one spot, which will be Crobat V. Crobat V is just an all-around amazing card. There's at least two copies in every single deck in the format right now. If we don't really want to use the attack. Its main focus is the ability, because it is a support Pokemon. It is Dark Asset. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may draw cards until you have six cards in your hand, and you can't use it more than once in your turn. So this is essentially a Shaman EX card from the Black and White and X and Y era. It was an insanely good card. It actually just recently got banned and expanded, which is unfortunate because the card's price has gone down. I personally had a few of those that I was keeping for an investment, but that did not work out very well. So it does have a V Max, but we don't really want to use that. We mainly just want to use the Dark Acid ability. 
you can use stuff like Eternatus. It's a very good card for that because Eternatus will allow you to only put darkest Pokemon on your bench. It's an insanely good support Pokemon to use with that because it is, in fact, a dark Pokemon. It is pretty much going to be the ultimate counter to the Dene here because when we rotate, the Dene will be out of standard. It's, it's, it's also a lot better than Professor's Research if you don't want to get rid of some cards in your hand. So, guys, that'll be it for the video. Please make sure to comment down below, or if you have any suggestions or anything, or just want to spark a conversation, like I said, comment them down below. Sorry that I haven't been uploading recently, but you will be seeing the every other day video, slash every day video, really. <laughs> and, yep, yeah, I'll be back on the grind. So, as always, guys, have a great rest of your day.